Tutorial number 26 in Autodesk Inventor. We remember in the previous tutorial we start to talk how to deal with the these tools we see in front of us, the revolve, loft, sweep, rib, and most of them they are related to the 3D modeling or solid modeling. And in this tutorial, we are going to get back to the basics to the sketch environments because i think the success of the 3d models or designs are based firstly on mastering the 2d sketching tools and in this set of tutorial it has i made a different approach than the katia tutorials on the same channel in the katia tutorial i just tried in the beginning with the sketch to the sketching tools and features and when i am done with that i started with the 3d models features but in this set i made a different approach i started a little bit with the 2d sketch and then went to the 3d solid features and now let's get back to the 2d sketch it's kind to give a quick start to the user who want to be start working quickly with the inventor so now let's get back to the 2d sketch environment to go to the 2d sketch environment you can get there to create 2d sketch and here you are choosing the plane where you're going to start your sketch and once you click on that the sketch environment or workbench as it's called in Katia is appear to you and here you see the 2d sketch tools so in this tutorial we're going to start with the line so when you choose the line it should be chosen or activated and if you hover over it you can see some tips how to use the line and now when you are putting your mouse you can see the coordinate system of the starting points we just click and you notice that the line tool continue to be activated and you don't need all each time to activate the line tool to start drawing a line like in Katia so when you are done so you can close your sketch or just keep it open and to deactivate the line tool you can simply go there and unclick then you are right click you have different choices either to continue using the line or escape or ok so when you are pressing ok then you are outside the line tool let's activate line tool again and another way to to deactivate the line tool after finishing your sketch double click so you are also outside the drawing lines but the line as you notice is still activated here and now let's go to the selection for example if you want to select uh, so yeah and before we go to the selection another way you can press escape line 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 escape then you are done it's quite fast and to the selection you just click on the line you want to select and then you can notice that color is changed to select multiple lines you can click keep pressing control and select the line also you can on the left click of the mouse and select the lines you want 
you notice you are selecting the line who are completely laying inside the rectangle selection rectangle that if you are selecting from left to right but if you drag from right to left you notice the re selection rectangle is different color and it will select each line if it is complete laying or partially laying inside that selection area so you notice you selected all this line and if you want to delete click delete or right click you can see here delete and so far as your drawing line is still not dimension or there's no constraint applied to them you are able to move them to how you want to see them.